I've noticed something. Deep down inside of us, there lies a bright light. A light that feels so dim when we're surrounded by darkness. When all we feel is hopelessness and shame and stress and this darkness seems to overpower any light that may be there. And it feels like there is no hope, there is no light at the end of the tunnel. It feels like our lives are just over. It's through. But that's not true. Because deep down inside, there is a beautiful light. There is a beautiful light that will liberate your mind, that will liberate your free soul, that will take you to a new level in life. But by that light, surrounded by that light is the darkness of your past, the shame, the regret, the guilt, the worry. Deep down inside, you have to dig deep down inside of yourself. And you're going to have to look that darkness in its eyes. And not look away from the darkness, but rather look straight in the eyes and say, I no longer need you. I am no longer that darkness. And so that darkness will not thrive. It will not survive. That darkness will die. That darkness will go away. Not because you forced it out, but because you no longer fear the darkness. You let go of, your, you let go of the darkness. Freeing up space for the light. And when the light gains power, when the light regains its power, it will overpower any darkness that may try to seep and seek into your mind and body and life. It will stride far greater than any darkness has. But you must free yourself from the dark by going deep into the depths of it and understanding it. By not running your entire life from it, but instead, right now, today, tomorrow, soon, look it in the eyes and say, I no longer fear you. I have a life to live. Nothing is hopeless. Nothing is worthless. I am powerful. I am beautiful. I am amazing. And it's time for me to start believing it. No longer do I want to stay in the same routine, stay in the same mindset, the same conditioned mind. I want to release the power of my mind. I want to dive deep into the depths of the light, into the depths of inner peace, into the depths of joy and happiness and the state of being, not into the depths of worry and stress and depression and anxiety and shame and guilt, but stay away. Not because I'm scared of it, but because I'm free from it, because I no longer need it, because I have one life and I'm going to live it to my fullest of Ability. The thing about life is, it's not always easy, and you can't always win. At some point of your life, it hits you. It hits you really, really fucking hard. You know, it might be that your girlfriend breaks up with you, the person you love doesn't love you back, you get fired, you lose a family member. At some point of your life, you're gonna hit rock bottom. Just when you think it can't get any worse, it does get any worse, and you find yourself alone and you don't know what to do. Again, you're paralyzed. You're like, I don't know what to do. And, and why? And that why can really, really destroy you. Once you start asking yourself, why me? Why not the others? Why me? I'm actually a good person. I never did something significantly bad. Why the hell did it hit me? But that why is a very dangerous why to ask because that's life. Life is unfair. Life is tough. To get back up and put yourself out there again. To open the wound again. And say, you know, here I am. Take it. Take it all. Kill me. Let it kill you. And arise from that again. Stronger, better, smarter. Ready to grasp that new opportunity. The world is full of great opportunities, but only for those who get back up. Wear your scars with pride. 
because life is going to leave its scars eventually on you. It's on us to make sure that those scars are worth something. It's on us to make sure those scars remind us of experiences. And those experiences are the things that create life. Sometimes you have to close your eyes to find the light within the darkness. You see folks, everybody is searching for an answer, looking outside of themselves for something or somebody that's going to point the way, perhaps just to tell them that they're okay. And people search for so long and become frustrated and sometimes despondent that they'll ever find that light in the darkness that they are searching for, that everyone is searching for. And some people do find it by searching. At least that's what they'll tell you. But you see, the reality is that most people who find it by searching outside of themselves find it after they've become so exhausted that they've actually stopped looking and perhaps even fallen down. And then they look up and they see it. And very often they'll think to themselves, after all this time, I finally found it. I finally found the light that I was looking for. And I'm here to tell you that you don't have to look outside of yourself. You don't have to ask or seek validation or even a clue. Because you see, the light you were looking for is within you. In the same way, it's within the person who searched for so long and finally found it after they became so exhausted. The light you were looking for is within you right now. And sometimes you do have to close your eyes in order to see it. And very often when you do close your eyes, it will be just a glimmer because it's been buried for so long, neglected even for even longer. And that light that's within you, when you close your eyes, it will get stronger if you trust, if you allow your mind to become quiet and still your body from the impulse from the reflex to go on searching. The light you are seeking, whether it's the first day of your quest or the 10,000th, it's where it's always going to be, within you. You have to close your eyes. You have to trust. And when you see that glimmer, you have to say to yourself, I see you. I feel you. I know you are within me, and I know you are going to lead me where we both want to go. So I'm going to sit here with my eyes closed, trusting that you are going to get stronger and you will see and you will feel that light within you getting stronger. That light within the darkness will become so strong that even with your eyes closed, it will look like broad daylight. And when you do open your eyes, whether in the morning or the middle of the night, your life around you will glow with the radiance of that light within the darkness that you were wise enough and strong enough to wait for, to look for, to acknowledge, and to listen to. That light within the darkness, which is always within you, is waiting for you right now. You don't have to search or ask somebody else. You just have to close your eyes and see it. And as it grows stronger, you have to trust it. And the beautiful thing about finally finding the light in the darkness within yourself is that you can find others who are searching for their own light. Maybe someone you know is on the first day of their quest. Maybe they are on their 10,000th day. And you can teach them what you know to be true, that the light within their darkness is within them, and that you're not even showing them the light. All you're doing is telling them to close their eyes and listen, look, and trust until that light within the darkness becomes so bright that in their own mind it glows, so that when they open their eyes, having found the light within their darkness, their world around them will glow with that same radiance you are experiencing. And the beauty of this, spreading this inward quest, is that if 10 people you know experience it, the world around the 10 of you will be 10 times brighter than even your own world, which is brighter than it's ever been. And if those 10 teach a hundred and those hundred teach a thousand, we will indeed experience a new dawn. And it may not be very dramatic. In terms of the old fashioned concepts of ticker tape parades or fireworks or huge spectacles. But you will see 
improvements in your family, your neighborhood, your circle of friends, and your business associates. It's simple. Sometimes you have to close your eyes to find the light within the darkness. And the minute you stop searching and being frustrated and looking to others outside of yourself for that light is the day, maybe even the moment, that you will begin to see it. And it will act as a beacon, not only from within, but guiding you to the things and the people and the situations which are really true to that light in the outer world. And very soon, that feeling you have within you, that light will become manifest in your outer world, your outside reality. Once you have the courage to close your eyes and see the light within the darkness. When you know within yourself that there's something you want to do, and I believe that all of us were born with a purpose, that all of us have something that we are supposed to do, that all of us have some goodness within us, and that goodness gives us a responsibility to manifest our greatness. And when you know that, you can feel it in your guts, and you know that you're deliberately operating below your potential, you've gotten comfortable, you stop expanding, you stop stretching, you stop challenging yourself. Let me share, share something else with you. Not only is it possible for you to have your dream, but it's necessary. It's necessary that you have it, that you work on it, that you develop yourself, that you go for what is yours in the universe. Somebody asked him why. He said, the people who are trying to make this world worse are not taking a day off. How can I? Light up the darkness.